Hello, my name is Catfights89. This is a video on quality advanced warfare score streaks. I'll be talking about the score streaks that are available that will be returning and score streaks that you can upgrade, what you can upgrade them with, and score streaks that you might not hold up that are probably in it. So let's get into it. Now, first I'm going to be starting off with the UAV, but I will say I am hosting a competition for Call of Advanced Warfare where I'll be giving away Call of Duty Advanced Warfare uh, wins. If you want to check that out, it'll be link in the description below, or it might be on the screen here. Just click it and you'll move. So, starting off with the UAV, standard UAV, it's been in a lot of the previous Call of Duty games. Before Call of Duty Ghost, it was first introduced in uh, Call of Duty 4. And it's been in pretty much all of them, except Call of Duty Ghost had a uh, Sapcon or something like that. But the standard UAV can cost about 400 points for your score streaks. And at game time, it only had three attachments you can upgrade it to. So the first upgrade is you to upgrade it for 150 points, and you get assist for every uh, kill that your teammates get when you have your UAV up, similar to Black Ops 2. And you got the second upgrade is threat detection for 300 points and now last for about 10 seconds it will track the enemies for about 10 seconds and the third upgrade is to change it to a support kill streak so if you kill uh get some kills and you die it won't you won't restart over and it's still there so you you're not really good at getting huge uh kill streaks that would be a very good thing to have very useful. I probably use a lot for the UAV, especially because the UAV has multiple um, upgrades that you can add to it or more attachment. You can have up to three attachments. On screen, you can see that this UAV has three attachments and it made about 800 points. And on the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Trail, there was more attachments you can get for your UAV as you can see on screen here now on screen here you can see there is about eight attachments so that's more than what they had at the games review at over in Germany at Gamescom you one of them is orbital so you can basically turn this into a orbital VSAT similar to Black Ops 2 now you can see on screen here how many attachments there are. Like I said, there was eight. Um, I'm not really going to go into too much detail about them, but if you just want to pause them and look at it, and because there was quite a bit, I'm just trying to go through this video as fast as I can. So there's orbital, uh, some other stuff, a, a timer thingy. So just you know. If there's anything that works really interesting, just leave it in the comments. Um, next up, I'm going to go to the Orbital Kill Package. On screen here, you can see that it has three attachments. I didn't find anything that had more attachment, but there are probably about eight attachments for it, similar to the UAV, hopefully. Maybe it might have a little bit less of that, maybe even more. I'm not sure, but the first one is pretty sure it's double tap where you can spin it or try to get something better it might give you something worse uh, second one is to get a something a whole lot better for it and then the third one to turn it into a support for, so that way similar to the UAV so that's a good thing and you probably can have free attachments but it will make it very expensive that's probably what all the uh, score streaks in it there's probably gonna be a lot of attachments for all of them but you can only have up to three attachments and depending on what you choose will make it a higher score where you have to get to get it so let's keep that in mind next up we have the the remote turret and it costs about 600 points you can upgrade it for 100 points to get rockets and you can also upgrade it to have lasers. Uh, you can the third upgrade is to whip it off, whip a ball for you can whip it off and run around it, which sounds pretty cool. But I'm not sure what happens if you die when you whip it off. You might lose it. I'm not sure. And then 
The fourth one is to have it control itself. You don't have to control it, which is basically makes it just like the rest of the sentry guns that have been in the previous Call of Duties. And there will probably be more attachments. Like I said, like the UAV had all eight attachments. This one only has four, so there might be a couple more. Definitely, I won't know until the game come out. But I will be covering the whole game when it comes out. So just make sure to watch it out for that video if you want to see more anything in particular just make sure you leave in a comment and subscribe for that when I do cover it you can watch it and see it next up is the S no X S1 Vulcan costs about 600 points you can upgrade it to have to upgrade it the beam width make it more powerful or bigger for a hundred score points Second upgrade is to have three rotating lasers around the main one. You can cover a whole lot more area, but they're probably not as powerful, but still pretty cool. The third one is get extra boost that doubles it, so you have it for about double the amount of time, which will be very useful for about 300 points, and there'll probably be more attachments, like I keep saying. Next up is the Warboard. Costs about 800 points. You can upgrade it to have rockets for 300 points. Uh, now I will upgrade it to um, have it control itself, like some of the previous Call of Duty games where it controls itself. That would be very useful if you're more of a one or gunner when you just want to round and you want your kill streaks to do their own thing and you don't have to control them. So that would be very good. And another thing is to have a teammate team up and use it that sounds like a lot of fun to try I, I wouldn't mind trying that um, sounds like a lot of fun and there'll of course probably be more attachments like I keep repeating that next up is the XS1 Goliath costs about 800 points you can add an attachment recon uh, thing things like a ping uh, picks up like enemies nearby you can upgrade it have a trophy system that will deflect uh, like grenades and stuff next one is a homing rocket like missile uh, I don't know how many you get probably one um, there'll probably be more attachments I could keep saying keep repeating that um, I'm just kind of running through these try to get to most of the um, through them as fast as possible because there's some other ones that I noticed in the trailer that weren't available at Gamescom. So next up is the Paladin. Cost thousand points. The Paladin was manually controlled, so you had to control yourself. You hit one of the attachments was Weasel uh, rockets or Weasel guided rockets. That sounds like a lot of fun. You can also upgrade it to have 105 millimeter cannons and also wingman to have a teammate join up with you, which sounds like a lot of fun. So that was all the kill streaks that were available at GameCon, but now I'm going to go into the ones that I noticed in some of the trailers that um, I'm going to get into here in a, this like right now. The first one was this rocket thing. I can't really tell what it is, what it says. You might be able to tell. Um, it was looks basically like the Hellstorm missile. We first saw it in like the first major trail for multiplayer. Um, but the upgrades will be for it. I do not know because it was not available. All I know is it worked similar to Hellstorm missiles. It had multiple rockets come in quite fast. Worked very cool. Cost about 500. 25 score points like you see on on the camera or on the video you can see um don't know if it had any attachments i don't think it did looks like a good uh support not support good uh score streak and the next one is next one is this thing i do not know what it is it uh, looks really strange because it has like a skull thing. It might be similar to like a dud package or you know similar to some of the older games. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. This week you can leave your comments uh, in the comments 
Let me know what you think it is. I have no idea what it is. Uh, next up is some strange little thing. I have no idea quite what it is. It's so tiny, I don't know what it is. But it costs uh, about 700 points. Um, next one is this thingy. Um, it looks kind of strange. Of course, I have no names for what these are, what they do, but they look pretty interesting. And then there's this. It's a uh, looks like you can have possibly two of the same kind of school streak. Maybe one can have multiple upgrades, and the other one is a standard one. Um, next up is, is this thing. Um, in between of the orbital kill pack, and looks like a uh, final kill streak that we talked about. It, when I first saw it, it was we was in that first five seconds of multiplayer, the teasel. I thought it was a UAV, but it might not. Be. It's not a UAV. Uh, not sure what it is because it was not available um, at Gamescom. So just let me know what you think it is. It might be um, maybe like a hunter kill drone similar to Black Ops 2. Maybe if you want to leave your comments what you think it is, please do. Next is this thing. It's in between the kill package and the UAV. It looks like some eye thing. Uh, I can't wait really to tell how much points it costs. It looks really interesting. Uh, I think it. I don't think it was at the multiplayer reviews or at Gamecom. But, and that's um, all that I could uh, find of these um, uh, kill streaks or score streaks that were available that were available at GameStop, but we'll end the Trail Wars. Um, let me know what you think of them, because they look very interesting. Um, I will be covering them, of course, when the game comes out. Let me know what you think of what they are. Um, and then also, there was a pork and it said uh, it will protect you against like some of the uh, kill streaks. And one of them was the nano, nano Swarm, or a Swarm, some kind of Swarm. Uh, I have no idea what that looks like, what it might be like. It might be similar to the Black Ops 2 Swarm. It might be like the Swarm in the campaign. If you don't see that one, there's a Swarm that comes in on one of the web wars. And if you get that kind of Swarm on multiplayer, if you do, I think it will probably come through. Because most of the maps will have like three main areas. And it will probably come through like throughout the whole, like in the big area. So if you're out and open, it will probably like hit you. And then, since you can also upgrade it, uh, your kill streaks, you might be able to upgrade the swarm to like the Black Ops 2 one or different kinds of swarm. So, this this video is what uh, kind of what I was thinking what the swarm might be like. Uh, point out some of those kill streaks that were available but weren't available for people to use at Gamescom. Uh, we'll probably see more about what they are in the future. Uh, if you can hit the like button on this video, please share it because it was kind of a lot of work pointing out that stuff. Also, check out the video of, my, of giving away a quality advanced warfare because I've been hosting a giveaway for quality advanced warfare. Check out that video. Um, hopefully, you liked this video. You did hit the like button. If you want to uh, see more quality advanced warfare, please subscribe. I'm also doing some on YouTube videos on some of the auto quality. Um, games you want to check out my channel I'm doing videos on that and also if you want to see anything in particular of Cody Advanced Warfare when it comes out because I will be getting it when it comes out and if there's anything you want to see in particular like the co-op mode or certain multiplayer maps weapons I'll be coming all of it but let me know what you want to see first for that way when I get it I know what to record force for you all to watch um, thank you for watching this video hit this uh, the like button subscribe for more because I'll be covering uh, call advanced warfare updates and all that when I hear of it or if I notice anything in some of the new uh, advertisements for call advanced warfare when they will be some so just keep checking on my channel Please subscribe, share this video with as many people as possible. If you want to enter in that Cardi Advanced Warfare giveaway competition, it will be linked.
below in the description. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my channel for more videos. And until the next video, bye everybody. I sure hope I get a good You picked on the wrong Marine. Now you're talking. Okay, this is a bad guy. Um, there's no pack punch on this. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to drop on that. Can't get past, past this one little spot.